Hello, and welcome into the Piles of Paragraphs Creative Space. I'm Lori, and today I'm going to give you an update on the train theme journal. Sorry, my, I have my book binding pouch, and it's decided to fall over on my foot. Okay, all right, let's get going on this. We'll go through these things in a little bit, but I made a big decision about this particular journal. Um... If you've, if you've watched the series, you know the cover has been giving me fits with the spine cracking with every piece of paper that I put on it. So I decided the other day, that's it, I'm going to cut the spine. So I cut it, and I taped it, and I put fabric on the inside, and I'm going to put fabric on the outside when the journal's done. But this is what we've got now. So it moves a little bit more freely, um, and... It was easier for me to deal with. And it also allowed me to, to uh, split my signature from one into two. So I got my signature uh, sewn in. And uh, pages in here. I got pockets. Lots, still lots and lots and lots to be done. But um, got, the, got these in here. Got the second signature in. I can find it. <laughs> there we go. This one stitched in. Um, Taught myself how to do the uh, uh, five-hole pamphlet stitch, and it I, I think I did pretty well. Not perfect, but pretty well. They're in there, and I've made pockets for the front and back covers. Um, I took a piece of um, kind of, oh, I don't know, the package says it's heavyweight card, but it's not too heavy, and then covered it with some of the, um, let's see, can you see this? Okay, good. Um, the uh, rust dyed fabric that I did recently. I think I hinted in one of my other uh, videos that I was going to be doing something different. And so I tried to do um, rust dyed fabric again and had I had fairly decent success with it. Um, the color of the fabric is great. I didn't get as uh, many marks to stay on it as I'd like. So there'll be there'll be more. So we've got, I've got this much done on, on the journal. So this is the front cover currently, and this is the back cover. Like I said, I'm going to cover this with fabric. Um, and there's my my five-hole pamphlet, my imperfect five-hole pamphlet stitch. I, I think I put my um, template in upside down when I did the second one. So but that's okay. It works, and you won't see it, and the pages work just fine. Um, I also did a little bit of work um, on some ephemera because I realized that the pockets that I've made for this, like this one, are really quite deep. So we're going to have some, some pretty tall journal cards and some other papers and things in there that will fill this up. But this is one of the journal cards that I, I made. Some images from out of a, uh, a model train. Uh, book that I had in my stash so that has really that has really come in handy there's another one that's a work in progress I did um, I made a master board with um, book page you know my favorite and I've still got quite a few images and stuff to uh, to work on I made this little funny little tall skinny tag but I thought that would be kind of a fun thing. Oh, I need a little bit more glue on that. Oh, let's do that while I'm talking to you. So that's hmm, pretty much where I am right now. Um, I, I really thought about trying to uh, do the binding on video, and I apologize. <clears throat> I just wasn't brave enough. And it was good that I didn't, because I, uh, I was nervous enough doing it for the first time. But, uh, um, and I had to do some Let's see, jiggery pokery, as, as some people would say. <laughs> um, and so, uh, but I got it together, and I've got lots of ephemera to make, and I'm gonna keep working on that. And I'm gonna put the fabric on the on the spine now that I've got it sewn in. And I'm thinking about using the same fabric that I used on the inside, which is a coffee dyed kind of a gauzy sort of fabric. I think it looks kind of neat. Um, I do have another piece of um, what I wanted to do. 
um, and it didn't work out, I bought some of the, the Sizzix um, texture roll, which is great. And it's plenty big enough in its natural un unscrunched size. So I got this wet and squished it all up and really happy with it and thought, oh, this will be great. And then when it dried, it's too short. <laughs> so if you've never used the uh, texture paper before, FYI, when you, uh, when you uh, wash it, I didn't wash mine, I just sprayed it with water, and then scrunch it up, it does shrink. So anyway, that will work in another project in the future, I'm sure. So I'm back to, uh, back to the fabric. Um, I've had, I had some other pieces of fabric that I've been thinking about, but I, I, I'm pretty sure this is what I'm going to go with. Um, so I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. And then, um, I'm also going to do, um, metal corners. I have my metal corners out here and I don't know where I put those. Well, you know, the Baji Crafter strikes again. So when I get this all finished up, I'm going to do the metal corners. Probably can't see that there. Metal corners, top and bottom, front and back. And I think that'll finish it off kind of nicely. So I also had some bigger corners that I was going to use. So if I can find those, I will probably use the bigger ones. But I could only... No, I can't even find the one I had. Oh. <laughs> I had too much shifting around this morning and and uh, thinking thinking about doing that the five hole pamphlet stitch. Really nice thing about the five hole pamphlet stitch versus the three hole, which I usually use, is that it comes down completely over your pages. So I have these shorter little pages in the center. And when I first did this one, I thought, oh gosh, I don't know. I missed the top of that one. It's not going to be very good. But with five, with the five holes, ooh, that's not as tight as it could be. Okay, I'll be, I'll have to tighten that one up then. Um, it does, um, catches all your edges. Um, so that's a kind of handy thing. So I will be using that more uh, going forward now that I've overcome my fear of giving it a try. So as you can see, the journal is pretty much filling up its its cover. Um, I should have probably made the spine a little bit wider, but I didn't. So I wasn't trying to go for a thick book this way, but I don't know. We may end up with a bit of a gator mouth. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything so far on this. So uh, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you'll join me again in the future. And so for now, I'll say bye-bye.